Hello, this is Maddie with DSP Support. In this video, we will be walking through the Parent Portal and how to use it. First, you will want to log into your Parent Portal. If you are having any troubles logging in, parents should reach out to the studio owner to assist them in resetting their password. Once logged in to the DSP account, you will be able to see the main dashboard. This may look different depending on the features the studio has enabled. At the top left, you will be able to see any messages the studio may have, as well as a logo if that is added on the account. At the top right, if quick, quick links are enabled, you will be able to see those here. Quick links are often set up as an easier way to navigate for the parent. This is only done on the admin side of DSP. At the bottom left, you are able to see the Your Account information. Here you can see the balance that is owed, a hyperlink to make a payment, a hyperlink to enroll in AutoPay, and any notes that may be posted for you to read. At the bottom right, you will be able to see the classes that are scheduled for the students that are happening today. It will list the time, student name, class, and location. At the very bottom, you are able to see links that help navigate the parent portal a bit quicker. The bulletin board will take you to any and all notes that are posted by the studio owner. Register for class will take you to the online registration page. The Manage Students button will take you to your students where you are able to make any changes or adjustments. Make Online Payment will take you to the Pay Online screen for you to make any payment that may be due. Tickets will take you to the ticket access page and will show you any event that may be active for ticket sales. Book a private lesson will take you to the appointment and private lessons page for you to proceed with any bookings. Online store will take you to the products and services that are available for purchase. Your dance class pass will take you to any dance cards that may have been purchased and are on your account. Shared files will take you to any shared information from the studio owner that may be important to read. Waivers will take you to the waiver page to fill out any waivers required by the studio owner to sign. It is important to check here and sign any unsigned waiver. Account settings will take you to where you can make any changes to your personal account. Attendance will take you to the attendance page for your students to stay up to date on their attendance history. The calendar will take you to the main studio calendar. It is important to note that only your students' classes will show here along with any shared event from the studio owner. If the studio has shared its Google Calendar, you are also able to view that here. Costumes will take you to the main costume page and will show the costumes that are assigned to the student. Navigating the top menu, to access your account settings, student information, pay online, and your dance class pass, if enabled in the Parent Portal. When accessing account settings, you are able to update any personal information on the account info page. When clicking on Change Password on the left side menu, you are able to adjust your saved password. Clicking Pay Online on the left side menu, you are able to make any payments towards charges on your account. If AutoPay is enabled from your stu studio, you are able to enroll by clicking Automatic Payments on the left side menu. You are also able to adjust the saved payment method here as well. To view the history of payments and charges on the account, you can do so by clicking Payment History on the left side menu. To view student information, you are able to go to Account Students. From here, you are able to see the classes your students are enrolled in the tuition, if that is shown from your studio on your account, as well as the weekly schedule for just you. You are also able to upload a photo of your student here if you would like. It is important to note the photo must be in a JPG or JPEG format. When clicking the More option at the top, you are able to access the page to contact your studio, documents, and files the studio has shared with you. The online store, if that is enabled in your account, tickets for purchase, if that is enabled in your account, private lessons and appointments, if that is set up with your studio, 
the Studio Calendar that will show you the classes your student is enrolled in, the Bulletin Board, Waivers and Policies, the Attendance page to keep track of your student's attendance, and the Costumes page if that is set up in your account. We hope this helps. If you have any questions about your Parent Portal account, please reach out to your studio owner.